Good morning, everyone. It's Sherry Shrallow coming to you from Sherry's Kitchen. Today is a very, very important day for the Vegan Volunteer Corps. We are going down to a homeless shelter in the city of Chicago today to deliver a full course dinner for 35 residents of the Lincoln Park Community Services homeless shelter. So we're very excited to do this for the second time. We'll keep doing this every month or more often as we acquire more volunteers. So anybody in the Chicago area who is interested in being part of our Vegan Volunteer Corps, please reach out to me in the comment section of the YouTube and let me know and we will talk. And for those of you living in different parts of the country, please reach out to me as well. I would love to help you have your own chapter of your Vegan Volunteer Corps so that you can do this very important work in your own communities. So thanks for tuning in again today. So I'm going to show you what my part is in creating this beautiful meal for the shelter tonight. We're going to be making a vegan meatloaf created by one of my all-time favorite recipe creators and bloggers, Terry Mathis Edwards. Terry is a sweet, sweet woman who does wonderful work down in the south where she lives, and she also has a website called Eat Plant Based that I would highly recommend you go to for some of the most delicious plant-based recipes that are oil-free that you will ever find. So a shout out to Terry. Terry, I've made this vegan meatloaf when I have to feed a big crowd, and we have to feed 35 people tonight. So between me and two other of our volunteers working on the vegan loaf, we should have plenty. But just to make sure we have enough, of course, I've doubled your recipe. So we've got all the ingredients laid out right here, and all I have to do now is assemble the loaf. Watch how easy this is. So yesterday, I made the bulgar. This is one of the most versatile and delicious and healthy grains you will ever encounter. We make this in spaghetti sauce, we put it in loaves. Terry will tell you, we do a thousand things with bulgar. So it's pre-cooked. I've got, I'm doubling the recipe, so I'm gonna put four cups, and I'm just gonna use my hands because Making this loaf, it's much easier just to get your hands in there and mix it all together. So I'm just loosening up the bulgar that got a little cold in the refrigerator, but that's all it took. The next ingredient that we throw into this wonderful bowl is going to be whole wheat breadcrumbs. So again, I've got a lot of them because I've doubled the recipe. That's four cups of breadcrumbs rather three cups and three cups of just rolled oats. They're not the instant kind, they're just the regular rolled oats. The next thing we're going to put in is two cups of fire roasted tomatoes. Now I saved a little bit extra of my fire roasted tomatoes right here because I opened up another can and Terry I have to tell you that I add a little extra tomatoes. I think it gives it a really great flavor and a lot more moisture for the loaf so we may add a little bit more. The next ingredient will be chopped onions and garlic. In they go. Oh, I can smell that together. They're delicious. And then I chopped up some celery. I hope this all fits in this big bowl of mine because we're making so much. And then we chopped up some carrots. Put them in. There we go. And then we chopped up some green pepper. Green pepper also gives it a wonderful flavor. And then some chopped walnuts, gives it a little crunch. Then I have a combination of low sodium soy sauce. I actually use Bragg's and Dijon mustard. And then our seasonings are dried thyme, dried sage, and pepper. That is it, folks, so you see, this is something that any of you can do when you have a large crowd to feed. Now all I do is I'm going to dig in and start mixing it with my hands. So I have to tell you a funny story as I'm mixing this. My daughter called me the other day and she said, Mom, her little girl Zoe, who will be turning one in May, um, I talk to her every day on the phone, but she thinks of me as this little voice in a box and a little picture. 
So she put the, my YouTube up on her big screen television and little Zoe just sat there like going, I know that voice, I know that woman. But she got to see me in more a life-size form. So when I get there in uh, May to visit with her and to celebrate her birthday, maybe she'll recognize me as a real person, not just this little person in a box on my, my little iPad. Okay, so take a look how nice this is getting. I gotta mix it all together. And it's a great arm workout. As I always say, cooking can be a physical activity. So I'm sort of doing some weight bearing exercise here as I push down onto the loaf. Now, as I said, I'm gonna add some more tomatoes because I just love the taste. So I'm gonna throw them in. And then we'll mix that last bit of tomatoes. Oh, I can feel the moisture of them already. There's a little juice plus the tomatoes. Oh my gosh, that's so good. And fire, sun, uh, excuse me, um, diced fire roasted tomatoes are just one of my favorite things to add to food because they add a tremendous amount of flavor. So now this is almost ready to put on our baking sheets. So hopefully with all the loaves that we're providing, the scalloped potatoes, the maple glazed sweet potatoes, green bean salad with a homemade plant-based dressing, um, some fresh fruits, we have mandarin oranges, bananas, and applesauce, all donated by Vegan Volunteer Corps members. Oh, I'm getting out of breath mixing this thing. Oh, this is a workout. My gosh, doing the double wolf is doing me in. <laughs> okay, I think that looks perfect. So let me just wash my hands for a second. I'll be right back. So that I can move the dirty dishes out of the way. And I'll be moving our trays in. Okay, so here we go. I'm just, I like to be clean when I cook too. I'm just sort of a fastidious person when it comes to cleanliness in the kitchen, right Dale? That's right. And if Dale, do you not, if you drop something or leave something out, do you hear about it ever? A gentle reprimand. <laughs> it's, one of my, it's one of my quirks, I'll be honest with you. I'm just very neat in the kitchen. I never start another dish until I've sufficiently cleaned up the first mess. So now we are ready to assemble this. So I've got two big loaf, two, excuse me, two big baking sheets that I put out. You can also put this into a loaf pan, but because we have so much here, I'm gonna see how we're gonna do this. So I'm just gonna make an imaginary line during the, down the middle here. And I think we're just gonna make two huge loaves. You could separate this into four smaller loaves, and I have often put the ones that I don't use into the freezer so that you can pull them out and reheat them for another meal. But look at this. Okay, I'm gonna try and do this without, without losing this. So let me just push it together first. Okay, it's a little harder than I thought to get all this out. Okay, so here comes one. I'm just gonna put it on here, and I'll add this and we'll shape it on here. A little bit more. So Terry, if you're watching, how am I doing? Maybe Terry, you could put this on your, on your page so that people can see how some one of your followers likes to make this and quite often. Take a look at that, isn't that pretty? Now I'm going to, um, I'm going to make it a little bit longer, so I'm going to just keep shaping it, because remember we have 35 people to feed, so I'm going to have to estimate with our loaves just how much, how many servings I can get out of this one. So let me look. So one, two, three, four, five, there's about six servings here. Okay, so there's one loaf. Put that over there for now, and I might add more to that, I'll have to see. Okay, now we're going to just make sure this is combined, and we'll start on the second one. Oh my goodness. I mean, this is so delicious. So if you have a, like a big holiday coming up, like for Easter, uh, you can make this and serve it to a large crowd of people with some of those wonderful side dishes I mentioned. 
And remember, all the recipes we use will be posted under the comment section of this video. So here we go. I'm going to do this. This might be easier. I'm telling you, this thing is heavy. This loaf is heavy. Okay, you get everything out. All right, that is done. Boy, this one might even be bigger than that one. Let's see. Oh my gosh, I think it is. That's okay though. We can, uh, it doesn't matter. So I'm going to, again, just sort of squish it together and then I'm going to take it so it goes more lengthwise. There we go. That's a big loaf. Okay. All right. Push it down a little further. This is a really big loaf. That one didn't get as big as this one. And then Terry suggests that we take some ketchup that has, uh, that I use an organic ketchup that is, you know, not made with a lot of sugar. Wash my hands here. And I've got a little pastry brush. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some ketchup. Let me wipe this down just a minute. I've got a little mess over here. So I can put this here. So I'm going to take this. See, we've got the two loaves here. So here we're going to get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pieces. So we got 14. Oh my goodness, we lost our power. What happened? Well, the show must go on. I'm going, boy, I hope that oven goes back on. Otherwise, I'm going to have to go to a neighbor's house and cook these. I'm going to take some ketchup and I'm going to drizzle it on top. There we go. Oh, it's back. Thank goodness. Okay. I'm going to take my pastry brush and just brush the ketchup on top so we have a nice coating. There we go. I'm going to have to restart my ovens, but they were preheated, so that's good. And I'm going to put these in the oven at 350 for about an hour. And during the last, like, 10 minutes or so, I think I'm going to put it on broil so that we can get a nice browned top. So there it is. Perfect. I'm going to add just a drop more ketchup over here. So we can get this one. And I take it all the way around the sides too. There we go. Voila! So we are ready to cook this and get it packaged up for the shelter this afternoon where they will reheat the whole dinner and have a beautiful dinner for those people in most need around six o'clock tonight. So have a wonderful day. Remember that if we can reach 1,000 subscribers on my YouTube channel, that we will um, be eligible then with uh, 4,000 viewing hours to receive proceeds um, from ads through YouTube, which will all go to continue to feed those most in need delicious plant-based foods, as well as the sale of my book, Staying Alive, Healing from Heart Disease, A Survivor's Story, available on Amazon. All proceeds that I get from the sale of my books, all of it goes to feeding people. Have a great day, everyone. See you soon. Bye-bye.